I prefer to follow than to lead. As a conductor, it's a strange thing to say, but in a way, it also is, is, um, is our job because we are obviously following the composer. La Scala is a wonderful theater. They are friends now from nearly 30 years of collaboration. As wonderful a theater as it is, it's the people that I have gotten to know and who I've established uh, in this wonderful rapport. When it goes back that long, uh, it's uh, quite a deep um, mutual understanding. I think I started nine months before I was born because I was fortunate to be born in a, to a large family where I was born number six. As we know, the learning process, so many things start with hearing. And uh, most of my brothers and sisters were playing music before me. I think that's where it started. And um, it's just continued to today. I feel like my musical life has been guided by various people that I've met. And so I sort of, I feel like I'm following, you know, that. And that is where at a very, very uh, important early stage, Manus came into my life. I was then 15, and the president of the school was John Goldmark. He heard me play. I, I must not have played that well, but still he was positive, and he said, well, we'll uh, we, we welcome you to our school, but I would suggest one thing. Have you ever con considered conducting? my personality and my way of working, Manis was, was ideal because uh, of this human connection, starting with John Goldmark, who actually give, gave me a big push towards a you know, complete direction of my life. And then Nadia Reisenberg, my teacher there, with whom I studied for many, many years, who gave me the daily uh, necessary training to be a pianist of some kind. She was at the beginning very unhappy because John Goldmark had accepted me because she was not there at that time in the summertime or something like this and she uh, never accepts students without hearing them and so she was quite upset and when she heard me she was even more upset <laughs> because she, you know, I was very rough. Schachter took me as a uh, private student. He was forever patient and um, always trying to encourage me. Somehow he managed to give me the necessary fundamentals in the uh, theory uh, of music to uh, get me going. If you really study long time, Little by little, something comes to you, jumps, jumps up. For it to speak to you, it takes time. And for, to me, it takes an incredible amount of time. I spend a lot of time thinking about the music, uh, walking with the music, sleeping with the music. And finally, out comes something that's personal. I do remember reading David Manis's book. I remember I got a very clear sense of his way of thinking and a very beautiful way of looking at life. For instance, if it's windy, you just bend a little bit forward when you walk, you know, things like this, you know. His spirit has an imprint in the original you know, school and somehow people who go th have gone through that school and starting with people who must have known him and continuing down the line, something remains. The professional side of life is very difficult, but what isn't in, in life? As much as you want something, the actual career side of it should not be the only end result. It comes 
down in, in the end, how much do you love to do that thing that you are doing? Mm -hmm.